everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the second part of my Disney charity shop haul. So I'm going to start with this cartoon blocks, <laughs> not box blocks, um, puzzle of Minnie Mouse. And this cost me, if you can read that, <laughs> £1.50. Now I've seen these before and thought they would be super hard work um, to make up and as you can hear there's some little bits left. I was a bit worried that all the bits wouldn't be in here but luckily they were and I'm impatient so I've already made her and she is super adorable. She will be um, gracing my shelf so let me give you a closer look. She's so pretty. Just love her. It's just so clever. Such a clever little idea. All these like little blocks that you put together to make her up. And I think it's like 300 and something crazy. Oh yeah, 338 pieces. So these two little guys have to be my favourite little duo that <laughs> exist in uh, Disney. Don't get me wrong, love Mickey and Minnie Mouse. They're definitely my favourite couple. But these two are my favourite duo. Like they're just, ugh, who doesn't love Chip and Dale? And it's so funny because I actually looked at this bowl and you've got Chip and Dale here at the front. And then we have Disneyland Paris, because this is Disneyland Paris merchandise. And then the glass has like the light brown sort of tinge to it with Chippendale on the front. These little, I suppose they're like four leaf clovers that you have on it as well. And then Disneyland Paris. And these cost me £1.25 each. So I thought that wasn't bad. And um, we'll probably use the glass as a drinking glass. Um, but the bowl, I will probably just display it on a shelf um, just because I don't want to ruin it really. So I'll probably find like little Chippendale knickknacks and put it in there. Or maybe I'll use it for snacks maybe. Because they're just so cute. Who doesn't love Chippendale? <laughs> so yeah, cool little uh, pairing there. So that's those. And then we'll go on with another mug. Now I'm not really a Disney princess person, not really a fan. It's not it's not my aesthetic. I don't really um, get into the princesses. But I saw this mug and I just thought it's so cool. And it says, even in the mornings, I'm still the fairest one of all. <laughs> and it has like these really pretty sort of artsy. You can't really see too much detail of the princesses because it's sort of most of the writing takes up the uh, picture of it. Um, I'm assuming it's just like um, maybe from a cheap shop, maybe like Primark or somewhere. It's got just like Disney written on the bottom. But I just love the saying. I just thought that's brilliant. I love these sorts of modern sayings that they've got going at the moment for Disney stuff. So, yeah, that cost me the bargain price of 50 pence. So, yeah, I was happy to pay 50p for that. And that one will get used as a mug. Um just because that's so funny. Uh, so next we have a Minnie Mouse snow globe and she was 199 It's probably more than I'd want to pay for something this small in a charity shop but she was just cute and I love because it's like vintage, it's vintage Minnie. I love vintage Minnie with her blue skirt and the flower in her hat and the little pink car, I mean, how cute is the car? It's almost like um, the cars from Roger Rabbit. Like, they they go back to sort of that sort of look. And I just think, so, so early. So, yeah, really pleased with her. She is super cute. Definitely sit her on my shelf and love her for many years to come. And another, going on to another Disneyland uh, Paris item. This, oh, <laughs> so cute. Now, I saw this and I thought, well, I wouldn't use it as a bag, but can I leave it behind? Because it's Minnie Mouse and it's just so cute. And then I, when I picked it up, I saw on the back that it said Disneyland Paris. And I was like, well, OK, let's go. And I realised, hang on a moment, there's something inside. So I unzip her and inside there's a Minnie Mouse. And she's in like, um, I'd say like a petticoat maybe because 
not only do we have Minnie Mouse, we'll just put her there for a minute. We have her dress and then she has some um, pyjamas in the um, spotty fabric. And then we have a nice little fluffy dressing gown and um, her obviously little yellow shoes to go with her spotty dress. And then some slippers to go with it. I paid £2.50 for it in the charity shop, which I didn't think was too bad because um, it's totally usable and just absolutely lovely. And inside it has like little hook bits. So I'm assuming like you can put the shoe in there and then there's like a little barred bit there, which I'm assuming you attach Minnie Mouse to so she doesn't fall out and go missing. So yeah, I thought that was really good. I, like I say, I don't know if that's still in the Disneyland park or not, but that's such a lovely little thing for a little girl. And like, I mean, this embroidered mini on here, and then it's embroidered there. And it's just so cute, and it's got a soft handle, and it's just everything mini. And she is super cute as well. Like, cute little, nice handy little size, but perfect for a little girl or me. Um, <laughs> Who loves Minnie Mouse? Uh, yeah, so £2.50. I thought that's not bad for that. I thought that's, that's a really good price. So I found this little Minnie Mouse purse. Now, I looked inside and the label, if I can find it, is from Hong Kong Disney. So I'm assuming from other YouTube videos I've watched of people going to Hong Kong or Japan, but this is one of those little things that you wear around your neck which I thought was super cute and she was a bit grubby when I bought her so she has been through the washing machine and um, survived very nicely um, but I love that it's like this little coin purse which is perfect to have around your neck in the parks and then it's like this plush for her face like how cute is she and she cost me a pound and I was happy to pay a pound for that I thought why not? She's just so cute. And, you know, I thought I'd just chuck her in the washing machine and she was a bit grubby. Like I say, she's come up lovely, but yeah. Wear around your neck. Super cute. Love it. So next, I have three, <laughs> not one, two, but three pairs of Disney ears. So... I buy Disney ears, if they're official Disney ears, I buy them at charity shops and boot fairs. No problem, I will buy them if I see them. Because I like to um, redo them. So we'll get back to that in a minute. But this pair, I do not have. So this sparkly sequin pair will stay in my collection as they are. Nice sparkly sequin, classic Minnie Mouse. Absolutely adorable loving them so that's those ones let's give you a closer look there it's all sequins the ears sequins the bow is sequins and the headband is sequins and then you've got the official disney park um label there and then this one also one i don't have in my collection fantasia mickey is super awesome nice soft ears with the soft um, hat there we go it's a closer look and again I don't have these in my collection so these will stay as they are it's nice soft fluffy ears with the same headband and then it's sort of like a velvet effect um, for the hat and it's got this lovely embroidered star and moon on there and I think oh yeah this one still has the price to cost so these all cost a pound each so <laughs> the price is still on there but the, you can see behind it that that's official uh, Disney label there so those two will go in my collection as they are and these ones which are the standard ears that um, you know nearly every person has in their collection these are the ones I find most um, often in charity shops or boot fairs and these are the ones that I buy no matter what I tend to pay between 50p and a pound I don't tend to go more than that I'd only pay more if they were ones that were really rare, really fancy and that I'd never seen and they'd have to be official Disney Park ones. Um, but these ones I like to take the bows off and then redesign the ears and change them up myself so that um, it's just a lazy way <laughs> 
<laughs> of redoing the ears. Um, but the bows don't go to waste. I will put the bows on shoes, on bags, um, or just redo the bow. Um, so they get totally used and um, yeah, it's just my way of customing them without having to make the ears and all of that. So yeah, classic, that's just the classic ears. So that's those and like I say, and ooh, oh no, I was gonna say last but not least, but I've got two items. So let's go with, hmm, we'll go with Mickey. So this little guy, I, at first I wasn't sure if he was a real Disney um, product or if he was one of these sort of um, knockoff ones. Um, but the more I looked at him, I realized how detailed his face was and his hands and his feet. And then I was checking and he's n normally the labels on the balm or on the back, which it wasn't. So I was like, mm, not too sure. And then I thought, oh, look up his trousers. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. Looked up your trousers. And then there it was, the Disney Store label. And um, I don't think I've ever seen a white Mickey Mouse. Like, how awesome is that? I don't think I've ever seen a white Mickey Mouse. So I'm hoping there's a Minnie Mouse in the world somewhere. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know if there's a Minnie Mouse that matches this Mickey. Because I would love that. Um, I try to buy... Try to get the Mickeys and Minis so they're in pairs. I have quite a few of these ones. I'm assuming this was a Christmas special one year. It doesn't say on his feet, which most of them do. But yeah, so he um, cost me £2.50, which is the maximum I spend on a soft toy. Um, but I absolutely love him. Like He has this beautiful glittery fur coat on, like a duffel coat, um, which is super cute. And he's just like completely white all over. He's just awesome. So cool with his sparkly shoes. Just absolutely adorable. Love him. So last but not least, she says, <laughs> um, I saw this in one of the, they have um, in a lot of charity shops, like an expensive glass cabinet. And um, I try to avoid them because I just think if I see something in it, I don't want to ask how much it is because normally the prices are outrageous. And I'm like, yeah, no. Um, but this one, I was like, oh. It's so cool, I have to ask. And it was only £1.50, so I was like, yep, I'm having that, thanks very much. So it's the um, castle, I'm assuming, I'd say it's California, I'd say it's Disneyland, though she must be wrong because on the back it says Disney World. So yeah, just awesome, loving this castle, just so cool, and look, I mean, They've bought it and it still has the colour label, so it's purple, whichever purple one is. <laughs> and uh, like I say, yeah, it cost me £1.50 and on the back there it says um, Walt Disney World. But it's just so detailed and just absolutely beautiful and it's obviously a keychain. Really loving that. So I have my own uh, Disney castle to remind me of home, so yeah, totally love that. So, on to what is Sarah's favourite thing? Oh, it's a tricky one because there's so many cute, adorable things. Well, I think I'm going to go with the bunch of three. <laughs> Cheating, I know, but they're, 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 they're the same thing. <laughs> so, I'm going to go with the ears because, as everybody knows, Disney ears are so expensive. The last time I went to Disney, which was uh, Christmas just gone, in America, twenty seven ninety nine. Like that is insane. That's dollars. Like that's crazy for a pair of ears. Um, oh, so yeah, it's ears all the way. Like these were a pound each, one pound each. And like I say, these two I don't have in my collection, so I'm super happy. And this one will be transformed into something new. Watch this space. Um, so yeah, definitely the ears for me. If you have a favourite item, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you like out of this collection. And if you haven't already, there is a part one to this video. So I'd love it if you'd go over and watch that. It's um, all about Toy Story. That That's all the stuff I got that was Toy Story related. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.